Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Today I'm building a solar panel rack not far from the tiny house which is going to be powered by the solar panels on this rack. So I've got one hole dug and I've come out far enough from the tree to where the branches should never interfere with the solar panels in any way. And this is uh, morning hours and you can see that the uh, panels will be in full sunlight right here. So we are not getting much power at this time from the solar panels at their present angle. So I have to get them off the ground urgently and start producing more power. So these are going up today. That's my main project today. Uh, I have been hunting a lot, so I haven't been out. I uh, haven't been on camera at all recently. But that's to be expected during hunting season. I've got two days left. I, my rifle failed on me yesterday. Something wrong with the scope. And it filled up with water while I was hunting. And um, I couldn't see anything. And there were deer everywhere. And so I came home without meat. I do plan on getting another deer. At least one more. Because I've calculated what we need to feed our family for a year. Anyway, I've got this in. And I'm going to measure and put the other one in the ground. And then the fun part, or not fun, I should say, is leveling it off. The ground has sloped a bit. I'm going to have to figure out how to get these at the same height on the top. Uh, oh yeah, I know what we did. We used a 2x6 across them. That's what I'll do. And then a level. So, back to work. Something else I'm doing, guys. I'm looking at due south. Now... I was going to line up the solar panels with the house. Everything is facing at a certain angle straight towards the yard. But for the solar panels optimum power production, I want to face due south, which is this way. And that is not exactly where I had, had thought. So what I'm doing is I'm setting a board on the ground here and setting the compass perpendicular to the board and then adjusting it for due south so I know one stake is here or post and another post to be here um, right along due south that way I'll get my angle right what I don't like is how that's going to look with the house but uh, maximum solar power production is most important something important to note is I'm using a special tool made for driving in posts like this that is making sure I have it level in all directions. And then I have this heavy metal bar with a rounded end for jamming down. I guess I can show you a little bit what I'm doing. Just a little bit at a time goes back in the hole. And then tap it down. And still ensure that everything stays level. And so on and so on till I get all the dirt used up and then I'll do the next one. I thought the ground was at an angle but I just put a just for an idea I put the board down and put a level on it and it's pretty much level. So what I've got to do is go down my proper depth here and then when I hit that point I can put my board in I uh, put my post in and then start leveling it off like I did the other. So 
so I'll get that done and we'll be back and there's so I'm checking for level two by six across the top I'm gonna come a tiny bit down over here and we'll be level and then I can pound this one and uh, make it square and straight well I've got the frame uh, cut for the solar panel rack now I just gotta put it I think because I'm working alone today I think what I'm gonna do is drill it put the uh, the bolts through the hinge bolts and then put the next two supporting braces in the middle and then put on the solar panels and hope I can get it done let's see what we can do here Had to get some help for a minute. All right, so grab this, slide the bolt out most of the way. Like that? Yep, you're ex exactly right. Now, see if we can get this up there without knocking the washer off that bolt. You ready? If you can't, I'll just get my side and then come over to yours, but you can help me balance it. All right, just move. Okay, um, I'm almost done. Okay, let's let me trade size. Hold that side. Got it. Smoothie. Uh -oh. I lost the washer. Okay. Um, you're good. Let that side. Yeah. Can you put this washer on, please? And push the bolt in a little. I'm gonna do this at an angle that'll help me better. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I got this. Now get that washer in there. Okay, now push it through. All right, it's on. Okay, that's a start. Whew. We did it. Thank you, Melanie. get that on so it doesn't fall off. What do you think of the location of our new solar panel rack? Huh? We can still drive the car through the driveway. I think I need a hammer. Yeah, I'll have to tap that in. Yeah, well, it's pretty much balanced until I get the solar panel on. And I see I have to cut that branch. But I did otherwise get it pretty close on the tree there. Okay, well there guys, it's up. Now I have to put the other two pieces in the middle, uh, the framing pieces. Oh, well guys, I'm taking a little break. That's a very impressive structure right there. I've got to trim the trees to get the other two panels up. But uh, it's a start right there. It's going to be adjustable for the seasons. It's higher than I thought it would be on that tree. So it is what it is. Because once those other two panels are a little bit bigger, they're a little taller. They're uh, 235 watts each. In the These two here in the f on the bottom are 200 watt panels. So, I've got two options. I can take two off the ones from the electronic shop and reconfigure that over there and uh, put them over here and then put the 235s over there. I don't think that's a good idea. I already answered my question. The 235s are going in the house where they're needed. Yep. So I had to trim the tree. 
I'm going to take a little break and finish my coffee and uh, trim the tree and get those two other panels up there. The 235s are taller than the 200s and they're a little bit thicker too so that makes things a little bit awkward put the, putting these together. So I got two 200s and two 235s going on here. Fortunately there's the same width so it'll balance out. But that goes up there in that tree further than I had thought. Um, I had calculated for 200s and I um, didn't realize I had two 200s and two 235s left over. So we'll have 870 watts when this is up. I'm just taking a little break and a little thinker here. I gotta get up there high. I don't have a way to reach up there. My little rickety ladder is uh, too weak to get all the way up in the middle up there to put a screw and up there to put a screw. Um, which is where I desperately need them too. So, a little thinker pause here. The bottom ones are easy. Okay, I'm going to let you watch my awkward struggling with this solar panel. This is embarrassing and awkward, but I'll let you watch and hope I don't drop it. shorter. Oh, they're a little shorter than the others. Okay. Yeah. Well, that went easier than the other one because I had already done one. Ah, they're not as wide as the others. Now I have to figure out how to center that and still have enough meat to uh, screw onto up in there. Interesting. Well, there it is, guys. Two of the panels are hooked up to my little mobile power inverter and uh, backup battery and an extension cord running to the house. And that's it for now. That's it. The other two I'm going to have to wire it properly into the battery bank, but for now we have some little bit of solar, uh, 400 watts capacity and peak sunlight, which it is not now at this time. I can guess we're probably pulling in 250 to 300 watts at this time. The electronics and controls are down here. And then uh, the little, I don't know if you can see the orange cord that I've always used, runs into the house and gives us some little bit of power. But soon, soon, we're going to have the full capacity here. And then I'm also going to set up the rest of my panels and uh, really start knocking out some power here. I've still got a couple more panels to put up. But that's all I can afford for today. At least we'll get it going. And then i got to see if I have enough wire to run from the panels to the house. If not, that's another $60. And then I'll have to wait for next paycheck if that's the case. If my wire is too short. But we'll see. And there's my little solar panel charging up our portable LED light, which we do use here at night. And that's it, guys. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. A solar power day at the nearly off-grid homestead. Talk to you later. Actually, guys, one last note. 
4 o'clock. The shadows are long and I'm catching the last of the afternoon sunlight as it goes behind the trees. The whole rest of the yard, I don't know if you can see it, get that glare off there. The whole rest of the yard is in darkness. All is darkness. But the solar panels are in sunlight. The last waning sunlight. The best place they could be, right there. Good night, everybody.